Hi, one of the common tasks while developing software is removing subversion files. It is a good practice to remove SVN files before sending code to your client to give him a clean solution with no additional information on how your code was managed. It is easier for the client to manage received code on his own if he doesn't need to remove SVN files that were left by you. Have a look. Here I have an example portlet project. This is an Eclipse project directory. Here I have the .svn directory that I want to remove. Let's run the script. It was a quick one. Let's look back on the example project. The .svn directory has been removed. Okay, so this is how the script works. Let's take a look inside. Here is the code. For slash f is a loop command that conditionally performs a command against each file item. Tokens and delims are the options which specify which numbered item to read and what is the delimiter character from each line. Next, there is a percent percent %i parameter which represents a file item. D commands displays a list of files and subdirectories in a directory. The slash s argument is set to display files in a directory and subdirectories. Slash b is a set for the command to use bare formatting which doesn't display heading information or summaries. Next, a slash a argument is set with a D option that lists only directories. At the end, we have asterisk SVN pattern, which specifies what items we want to process. RD command deletes the directory. The slash S flag removes all directories and files and a given directory. Slash Q, when set, indicates a quiet mode. The script doesn't ask if it's okay to remove a directory tree. Percent percent %i represents a directory that is being removed. Removing SVN files under Windows is simple with this script. I hope you found this post useful. Take care and take IT easy. Remember to comment on our videos. Bye-bye.